just found out that mum and papa have a secret video of me that we filmed 10 years ago that I could view on my wedding day. 10 Wait, but years ago? 10 years ago. It must be about me answering questions or something like that. Actually, you know, I don't really know what it's about. Papa, what's the video called? It's called Biggie Future Wife. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that quality? Mm. Why is it all very dark? It's I like know. Biggie was filming this in the basement. <laughs> exactly. Look, I, Biggie was very honest, so I'm excited to see what he said. I was, I was very brutally honest. Well, if we have a fight with my dream wife, I'm gonna say a speech like this to make her. Well, it was my fault. I did this. I did that. That's smart. That's what you need to do. Oh my god! I still need to work out this advice for myself. Your biggie was more of a gentleman than now. <laughs> That's not true. Very biggie, let's like watch the fight again, and you gotta really listen to what little biggie would have said if he was in the wrong. Let's hear it. Come on, little biggie. Well, it was my fault. I did this. I did that. Mm, I mean, I Cause I, if I apologize like that, that wouldn't be acceptable. Cause I said I did this, I did that. Instead, you had to spend an hour long reclaiming yeah. and extracting your entire life since birth of everything you've done wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't have did that to you, and I'm sorry. And I'm, I was that bad in that time, and that was a really bad thing what I did. Wow, that's so. I was looking for the biggie with a lot more empathy than now. That's so not true. Why do you keep saying that? What do you guys rate that apology? I rate that if like my husband said it to me and explained it maybe a little bit more in detail, give him a 10 out of 10. Little Biggie knew what was up. Well, I basically just said, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for that. I give no, it a 7. but I guess if you, I maybe mean, you were trying to say you would explain it mm. at the time. Yeah. That's alright. I was like, this is right back here. Really? A hug? Say, I'm sorry. Um... And I really loved you as a wife. That sounds like I'm saying bye bye. Yeah. Like, I really loved you as a wife. It sounds like a eulogy fit for me, <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a see you later type <laughs> thing. Where's your eyebrows? I think you was on a bleached <laughs> brow trend like 10 years before I was trendy. <laughs> what is a bleached brow trend? Is that actually a thing? I think so. No, I had no eyebrows. I just had two eyes, a nose, and lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. You actually had no eyebrows. I don't know. I feel like that apology is pretty bad. Like, what if I went to my wife, like, saying, I really loved you as a wife? What if Papa said that to Mum? I really loved you as a wife. Like, yeah, it sounds so like happy. he's gonna leave. It sounds like he's saying goodbye no, with the boss. Would be very happy. It's always nice to receive that. I compliment. loved you as a wife. Yeah. It sounds like it's past tense. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, that would be the wrong verb, but, you know, I love you as a wrong verb. Wrong verb. <laughs> wrong verb. Will you forgive me? If she says, Do I look fat in this? I'm just gonna be like, if I think in my head, she's is fat in that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh That's no. Wild. Where are we going to go, you little biggie? What am I going to say right now? Yeah, cancel. <laughs> What's my answer about to be right now? Because I'm worried. <laughs> I was very pretty. What would you say if your wife had gone overweight? Oh, would you I care? Would care. No, no, you wouldn't care. care. She's is fat in that, but I'm just going to say that she, no, you're not. So then she doesn't like. Feel sad. Yes, yeah, she doesn't feel sad. I was worried about that actually. I <laughs> Me too. Really but it doesn't make it not true. Know what I mean? <laughs> if your husband looked bad saying sucky, would you say it? It depends. Well, it's different. It, it just depends the relationship we have, I guess. I, I would Well, love, you're married. So. I feel like I would love to have a very honest relationship with my partner, so. I mean, like, I guess. Different I people are just like, you know, different. I know, it's How different. Me personally, I wouldn't say anything. Depends on the scenario. Like, if you're going out for dinner and they ask you, do I look nice? And you're like, no, you have a big no. Like, no, that's not yeah, the right time no to say anything. That. Well, I'm going to share the money out so she can sh have her amount of money. What? <laughs> I don't know. What you're talking about. Why are you talking about a prenup? But, like, fine. <laughs> That's okay. I, I have my priorities straight. Yeah. I think you should be really worried about like people taking money. Off you. <laughs> what are you gonna do like money wise though? Are you gonna like share money with? Well, it depends if he's richer than me. If it's richer, then we'll split it. <laughs> <laughs> if he's the same, we'll keep our own money. But I don't know. I'm planning on marrying a billionaire, so <laughs> we'll probably share. <laughs> I think the best thing is like you have your own money, he has your own money, and then you also have a shared account. I think that's, oh, a, that good, smart. I think that's a good way. And she earns less money than me, I'm going to give some of her money. I think if she mm. makes less money than you, you give her some of your money, which is nice. Yeah, of course. That's, that's good. If she says I can't surf, I'll be like this. Excuse me, wife. Excuse me, wife? <laughs> you need to let me go surfing because it's been with me for all my life. 
and I really enjoy surfing. If someone takes away something I like doing and says like, oh, you can't go and hang out with your friends or you can't go and like go surfing, you have to spend time with me all the time. Like that's yeah, a red flag for that's sure. Obvious. No, that's obvious. Yeah, if someone's saying you can't surf anymore. Can't then... surf or can't like play games occasionally. What okay. age is it yeah, weird to play video games? Probably like above 40. I was saying above 40. Yeah, like, above what, what 40 are you doing for sure. now? I really enjoy surfing. And if she says no, I might just have to forget about her and find another one. That's a bad yeah, point. I agree. I know, That's right. a good point, Biggie. If I have like a girlfriend or something who I'm not really vibing with, and then I see this another girl, who, like, oh, I reckon I could vibe with her. Don't go around and be disloyal and sneak around this person's back because that's not fair. Things aren't working out, just like end it there and then pursue what I think with the next person. I'm very, very, you're very wise. Bitch. I might as yeah. well grow a beard right now. <laughs> and teach karate. Very no, wise. not this biggie. Very very biggie was very what? wise. I am very wise. Come on. Your yeah. hair was so bleached back then. It's so, it's so blonde. It's, it's like I'm an old man in a little boy's body. It's yeah, great. Right. Well, honey, like, you're good how you are. You don't really need much makeup and uh, like a red carpet, maybe. I hate when boys say you look great without makeup. I was like, it's true. I know it's a nice thing do to you say. Do you want him to say you look ugly without it? What do you no, want him to say? No, I just want him to say nothing. It's annoying. It's annoying when boys are like, okay. oh, I prefer chicks with no makeup, but then they like the, the crushes the girls who wear a lot of makeup. No, that's, no I don't say that. I don't think you. I find understand. it very frustrating. I like a girl who doesn't have too much makeup on. I think that's cool, and I think it's cool. Um, <laughs> I think it's <laughs> cool. I think it's cool, guys. I like natural looks way more than just like you know heaps of makeup. If I, I totally agree. Like a boy is would prefer someone who's looks pretty like without makeup than a girl who looks pretty with because then you don't know what they look like without it. No, I hate like, when people say you look better without it because like no I like to put on makeup. You, you look better with makeup. That's like a full on blow. No, I, thought, I just don't want them to comment on it. You mean to say just you look nice yeah, when you wear makeup and when you're not wearing makeup. Like I'm not, personally with me I feel like I like natural looks with like, like mascara or something like long eyelashes. And yeah, naturally no, like different people have different types and stuff so it's not just me. My girlfriend ends up wearing like a heaps of makeup one time or something or a few times like of course I'm not going to discriminate and say this looks really bad because it's not my place but I don't think I could go for a girl who just has a lot of cake that makeup you like can't be seen without it yeah because I feel like it might I don't know but I feel like it might mean like they're insecure in some way I would like someone who's confident and has something going for them can you please please marry me well you've been such a good woman lately it sounds like I'm begging <laughs> you're begging <laughs> <laughs> been such a good puppy dog lately. You've been such a good woman lately. Imagine if I propose, I'd get on my knees and say, Please, please marry me. You've been such a good woman lately. <laughs> <laughs> the words don't make sense. It's so funny how just like when you're little, how simple you think it all is. What do you think about girls proposing to boys? Can girls do that? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't they propose to a No, I was just thinking, by. like, do people do it? I'm sure That's it's happened. I'm 100% sure it's happened. To be successful at Cleaning, working, caring. She has to be successful with cleaning. <laughs> wow. What I was meaning here was you know someone who has like, he means. Someone who has like, like ages ago. I like, I'd like probably someone who has a go about her and just. Well, I don't know, it's hard to describe all these things, but should we do another video when like I answer the same questions and we put it back to back? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be so good. Because I think I should definitely do that. Then we should react to it again. <laughs> Blue eyes. Blonde, long hair. <laughs> I think it's my type has changed. Really? Really? I like big brown doughy eyes. Mm. Doughy eyes? <laughs> like big brown eyes. Yeah, I like yeah, those. They look nice. Blonde and hair. then, oh, I don't really care about hair type. I like darker hair, but oh, nice. it's like, doesn't really bother me that much. Mm. Yeah, no, you're saying. Nah, hair's not really a factor. And the eye color's not a factor either. The main factor is if someone's just like active and likes to do sports and that. Yeah. And decent looking. Well, yeah, of course, but like really be attracted to someone who's very um, outgoing. Yeah, that's cool. Just, what yeah. type of sports? I don't care what type of sports, like tennis is great, basketball is great. As long as it's not just someone who just is hanging out at the mall all day, just filming TikToks non-stop. Yeah. That's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know exactly what you're saying. Someone who's not so clean either. Clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, someone who doesn't do drugs. No, someone who's not clingy. Oh, clingy, sorry. <laughs> Someone who's not so clean. Someone who's not so clean. No, definitely and, not drugs. And has something that they do that they don't need me for. You That's know cool. what I mean? What's an attractive job that a girl can have? Job. Attractive job. I think any job's really fine as long as someone's like working. Long hair? Like maybe yellow? Yellow, yellow hair. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little bit heavy, but I want to have a big butt. 
I want to have a big butt. No, <laughs> no I think you want your wife to have a big butt. Like a big one. Because I really love big butts because they're really like, every time you slap it, it's <laughs> like... Anaconda Nicki Minaj music video. <laughs> I seriously watched it like 100 times. Oh my god, that's so good. I want to watch that again. But I really love big butts because they're really like, every time you slap it, it's just like, she goes off like waves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, like, it has to be like, like sexy. <laughs> The defense. <laughs> Are you still gonna play this video at your wedding? Oh, I don't know. I don't. And then it's like that. Like that. Oh my God. That's so out of proportion. I know. Someone just butt actually inverted. <laughs> my butt goes inwards. <laughs> it's got vertical. It's like rock climbing. You can rock climb it like a vertical cliff. I wanted to have like great nails. I hate when she does some baking, if she does some baking, because she might get cancer. Mm, okay. I agree. Not I agree. Valid. Not valid. Not valid. valid. Val oh, valid. Ten. Ten valid. Ten girls are dead. So you yeah, but how? Fake ten. Oh. You need, yeah, obviously, yeah, some think... girls are obviously born with darker skin tones. Yeah, like darker like, skin tones. Yeah, but tanning, I think, is like, that's yeah. how you get the skin cancer. That's it's how not good. the girl's going to die. Like, Biggie, he was smart. Personally, I like darker skin tones more. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. But as someone who's got the darker skin tone, I'm just purely tanning at the beach. Like, I don't think we're gonna have a lot yeah, more. Yeah, like what happens in problems. winter? Of course. Yeah, what happens <laughs> in winter? Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm just, ah! just thinking about this because some baking's really bad for skin cancer. And maybe the Americans and UK and some of the other countries who are watching this, you're probably like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah. In Australia, our sun is like, Twice as harsh as most of the the world. I'm not I sure think why. like one out of three people get skin cancer. Yeah, so we're just... cancer's really bad. I want to have big boobs, so then you wanted to. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm think I'm talking about my wife. Yeah, but still. If she's nice and polite to my sisters, yeah, she's one of the worst for me. Aw, that Aww. makes it better. I still think that every day. So I want to get someone who's nice and polite to my family because otherwise it's a big red flag for me. Mm. So that's definitely, okay. definitely a big factor. Bigger factor than proportions and whatever else that I was going on about. I want to know her like maybe for five months or six. Five before months. marrying her? Before, before marrying, marrying her? Before asking her out or before what? Because just by knowing someone and then asking to be my wife is wild. And then I'm going to repose. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, we. Wow. Wow, we <laughs> Five months. Five months. For the baby. No, I don't know if I want kids very early. Like, after meeting someone for six months, I don't know if I want a kid with them straight yeah, away. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> I really do want kids though. How many kids? Two kids. Or three kids. Two kids. Three kids is pretty good. I feel like the three one will always be left out. It's like the people on TikTok like, in every trio there's a duo. <laughs> Emo moment. Like, 100% oh, in dude. every trio there's a duo. I think I can agree. I don't agree. Well, agree. is there a, a duo amongst us? 100%. Who? Who? Biggie and Naz. No, I mean like against us. Yeah, what about Nat? She's left out. That's a quad. What are you talking about? Three, it's four, four. Yeah, yeah but still, even if there's one left out, we're talking about three. Yeah. yeah. Who's the duo in this group? Probably Big and Saber. Really? But you're missing like so Yeah, well. so he's nasty. Nah, just nah, she's just emo. Just I think so I'm good friends with everyone. I think it's you two who. Oh, we're great friends. Yeah, good friends. Well, that's good. We're all good great friends. Like me and Sophie, our duo's on top. Me and Saber's duo's on top. My and Naz duo's on top. Like all my duo's on top. It's all good. Yeah. I want her to be good at changing nappies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to do now? It's definitely not one of the major factors. But yeah. I'm happy to take care of my kid. Actually, I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to give anyone that response. Did you ever change this girl charms nappy? I did. Yeah, I think you do a lot. Okay, so it may sound gross, but like their poo at the start doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, as, soon as, start, start, as soon as they start eating normal food, Stop it turns out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want a kid, that's how it is. Well, it's it's so bad, it smells like pumpkin soup. 
Don't even yeah, start. they can't even be solid at the start. It's just like soup <laughs> and then having. Oh, stop it, stop. That's what happened. You see, she saw me and breaking up. Fair enough. Fair, Fair enough. enough, valid. If you cheat on me, if someone cheats on me, it's like it's a it's done. Like I'm not giving anyone any second chances. I'm not going to cheat on anyone if I feel like I have feelings for another girl and it's stronger than the feelings I have for someone else. You and if I think about it a bit, I'm just going to end things with the... Yeah, move on to the next girlfriend. thing. Yeah, move on to the yes. next. And I'm going to find now a girl that does not cheat on me, has the big butt, and... Loyal, good looking, and outgoing. Those are my probably three factors. Mm -hmm. And a great sense of dark, funny humour. Dark, funny humour. <laughs> That's important too. Maybe. My humour. Having a good heart is more important than big boobs. So true. A good heart... It's great. I don't think I could get someone who just, just has a good heart either. Because, like, that's boring. boring. Yeah. I couldn't get with someone who's boring. No. Nah. Like, someone who does go karting and is down to, like, to, like, do, like, fun stuff, like, yeah. roller coasters, who's not like, I'm scared to go into the surf because I'm going to get my hair wet. Yeah. Not that. Yeah, I agree. That's the opposite of what I want. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted her heart to be really good and then special in anything part of her body. I'll just be like, nah, well you don't have a good heart, so I'm not gonna... I don't feel like a girl someone who's they're dead, drop gorgeous, they're dry and they're just mean and toxic. No, nah, not mm. at all. Well, I think like personalities make a person attractive. There's also people who I've seen at the start be like, oh, he's kind of ugly, but then you get to know him a bit more and you're like, wow, this dude's like so attractive. Yeah, I, I think looks are first impressions, but I think like actual personalities. And yeah, I think 100%. so too. I'll give her whatever she likes the best. Like maybe choc, it could be chocolates, it could be flat. Exactly, Legends. Like if you're my girlfriend, you're going to get spoiled if you're the one. <laughs> what about like design a bag? What that? If I, I have enough money, then yeah, design a bag or whatever, Ooh, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever really. If I'm like, don't have enough money for designer bags, I'm not going to spend a lot of my money buying designer bags so I can't afford it. What about if your girlfriend feels a vegan? I don't care. You can live with that? I don't care. What if she like pushed, her, what if she pushed her veganism on you? Yeah. Mm, I really wouldn't like if someone tried to force me to be vegan just because she was vegan. Yeah. yeah. But if she was vegan, then I'm I'm here for it. Yeah, whatever. Like, mm. do, you do you, that's all good. That's not a big factor. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's not like, oh, it's so unthoughtful of you to eat meat in front of me because I'm a vegan. Like, that yeah. stuff. I, just could, I, don't, I don't think I could deal with that. It could be chocolates. It could be flowers. Do girls actually like flowers? That's no. What I, wanna I do. I think some I think girls do. Like, 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 say, like, I fancied you and then went out and knocked on your door one day and gave you flowers. Would you like that? Would it be a waste of time and you just would, like, put them straight Ooh. in the bin? I think I flowers think on the first date is very sweet. Even if you don't like flowers, it still is very, very yeah. thoughtful. It's romantic. I think it's nice because you can put them like in the vase and be like, oh, he gave them to me. And then I'd prefer a tomato plant I could plant in the yard. <laughs> someone just gives Soggy Yay! potatoes. Just someone gives Soggy a bunch of potatoes here, please. <laughs> yeah, and then we can have the potatoes and make a meal out of them and we can cook it together. You know what I mean? Well, that's cool. That's be nice. My ideal date would be something like go to the theme park. Yeah. <laughs> the right. Go park. go karting. Or do something that's exciting like that. Yeah. yeah. Go karting's pretty good. I think if we went go karting and got like. Got something to eat after, like it's easier to talk when you're doing an activity. Yeah. I, 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 I especially guess. someone new. I, I would love to like do an activity like in a high, high. I would like to do a high energy activity and then go home and then make a meal together yeah. oh, and then cool. eat the meal. But I'm happy to do anything. I'm really I'm open to many date yeah. types. Honestly, I just think it'd be nice to cook. So I like I think yeah. it's cook. always easy to talk to someone when you're doing something together. Mm. I feel like when you're sitting next to each other, oh. it can be. But I think it's like I a stressful it. situation. So that's a really good like indicator. Like if they're good at like having a sit down meal face to face, and they're really good at everything else. No, that's it's not. Why I, think. I don't. Think no, not at all. I think I, if someone can like I, survive I, that, then they're like pretty good. I yeah. think the exact opposite. Like go cut, go home, cook like cook cook something like mm. what somebody said. Which could never be in like a relationship with someone who's very one of those girls who are just like. He needs to take me out to a $100,000 dinner on the first day. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, I'm yeah, not like okay. dating him. Like, nah. And yeah. That's like so not what I'm. I can't. I, I would get so triggered and I couldn't deal with but it. But if you can't it, it's just like it's just like, oh, you're with me because like I can provide things, not because you're actually it's, like. Yeah, me. it's the exact yeah. wrong message. Anyways, like I don't want to be with someone who's like just wants, who's like expects to spend that much money. Of course, just yeah. To, just because you can have a great time doing anything. I fully agree. What if she couldn't really cook? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. No. No. As long as like someone's clean and like and contributes to like cleaning the house for my wife and I, <laughs> I'm happy to like 
do, do our fair share and that. Like I don't expect her just to stay home and do the dishes and cook all day for me because that's not fair. No, either. that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like if she, like what if she's like actually really bad in the kitchen. But if I'm being like, honest, a little bit of a fat diet is I kind of would like a nice a good cook. Yeah. Well, the way I like to bond and the way I think it was really nice that I'm um, I like food, food and yeah. I think cooking food I think it's really um it would make me feel nice. Really, yeah, it makes me feel really good, nice. Like, nice cooking food together is a great even one just like a you sandwich. Like, you so, make something that you get to enjoy like when mm. you've tried so hard. Yeah. yeah. If that makes sense? I want mine if she wants to put me in other clothes. I'll just... I want to put it up. Sorry, go oh, on. Not happening. No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting dressed up. I honestly couldn't not get Not spending time doing that. I pretty much, like if he lets me like treat him like a kendo and I like, get like dress him up, I, I love that sort of stuff. I'll go with it, but it's not like the best thing. Wow, there we go. Tell me if you reckon I should answer all these questions again and what my perspective is on it now. But otherwise, catch me knuckles.